All right, here we go. About to play some democracy for. This is a pretty cool turn-based strategy game. I'm going to play as Canada, which has zero stars. So I'm wondering, like, does that make it the easiest one? I feel like being prime minister would be a real easy job, so probably. All right, so yeah, I'll play this. Um, oh, it won't let me name myself Ass Clown, really? Okay. Well, that's the first problem with this game. Anyway, um, Progressive Fascist Party? That sounds pretty cool. I think it'll be the Progressive Fascist. The opposition to the New Technocrats. And the other opposition party is the Egalitarian Democrats. Okay, so yeah, we're just going to leave it all the way it is at the start for, for how things are for, for stuff. Even though Canada's debt is about twice this now, but, you know, that's that's that. Anyway, let's uh, get playing. So yeah, this is a game came out in 2020. It's Democracy 4. Um, you start off by winning the election, and then these are the six main indicators of how your country's doing. And, uh, you know, welcome to your new job as Prime Minister. The lives of all 37,742,000 uh, citizens are now in your hands. As you will imagine, there are a number of situations and concerns that you will need to deal with as soon as possible, while keeping an eye on the long-term improvement of our citizens' quality of life. Plus, do not forget you face re-election of five years, so you will need to monitor the opinion polls of our party membership, or, and our party membership. Good luck. Anyway, so we want a party majority with 10%. This will give us some political power to implement our policies. So we can just begin our term in office, or we can change ministers. So let's see what ministers we got. Okay. So we're going to hire our foreign policy minister. These are the main, uh, you know, main ministerial files there are in this game. Um, and hiring a good minister uh, improves how well this function of uh, your government goes. But anyway, so you can go suitability, experience, campaigning, or loyalty. Um, suitability means uh, there's, you know, three desired jobs. Then there's how much political capital you get per turn. That's like what you can spend on implementing new policies. So you want that to be pretty high. Um, campaigning, you want to be pretty high, especially during election time. Experience, that goes up the more longer they're in the job. Uh, and they tend to get better at the job, the more experience they have. Loyalty is, uh, yeah, just kind of loyalty. They'll stay in longer if you piss off their sympathies. Which in this case of uh, Mia Poria here is liberal and socialist. So that's who she likes. So uh, that's the kind of foreign policy you should go with if you choose her. However, we're going to go for somebody with a bit higher of a uh, political capital. Because, you know, we got a lot of changes to make here. And uh, I feel like uh, David Landry might be it. Although his campaigning is absolute shit. So he won't get us any new votes. He's incredibly loyal. You get 2.2 political capital. Um feel like he's the guy. So, congratulations, David. You're now the cabinet post. No, Minister of Welfare. A higher. She's incredibly suitable for all this stuff. Hmm. But once again, we're going for the high political capital, so... So this guy's got 2.1 low experience. Why is the suitability 43? Hmm. You know, that's a desired job, and we, we could really use that political capital. I'm wondering why Mia is right there. Keeps like insisting on her and like it's nice to have a good campaigner. Makes it so you're far more likely to get reelected. But you know what? We're gonna do Stephen Harper style government here. We're gonna hire people based upon their loyalty. Okay, so economy, uh, another Another older white dude. I guess we got a black guy as bald and stuff. Older white dude. So we really do need to hire a woman for something here. So tax policy. Oh, Linda Kahn, you love the taxes. You can be great at the taxes. So uh, there we go. Let's see who we got for public services. Ooh, and Eloy Lewis. Or, uh, that's Eloy, right? Whatever. Looks like... He Eloy? Uh, I think it's Eloy. Whatever. Either way. Um, seems like it'd be good for this. 2.1. I don't think we have any uh, 
any higher stuff there, so. Okay, Law and Order. Hmm, her campaigning's really high, motorist socialist. See, I don't like commuters. And, I mean, we already got a bunch of white guys here. And he might actually go over to transport here. And yeah, I think transport might be uh, where it's at for him. I don't see anybody at higher than 1.8 for political capital. I really don't like commuters, but yeah, there's nobody else that really likes transport until we get down to here. And she's like a fan of sympathies with religious and youth. And uh, I don't want to have to appease the religious people, so we'll go with him. There we go. So, now we've got our uh, our cabinet selected. This is literally the main screen of the game. It, it does look incredibly boring. However, it, it I find it very entertaining. Maybe it's because I'm a political nerd. But, uh... Yeah, it's quite the game. So, as you can see, we have 14 political capital currently. This is all transported up into the different portfolios, and you can see the ministers there, uh, each doing their thing. So this is law and order, this is public services, this is taxation, this is the economy, this is welfare, this is foreign policy, and yeah, transport, once again. Um, all these little uh, dots, okay, like the blue ones are like, overall, how much are people using cars? So you can click on that, and you can see it's red means it negatively contributes to something. So you can see the environment way down here. The relationship between that and cars is red. So the amount of car usage is negatively contributing to the environment. It's also, as you can see, there's two things down there in health. One is the obesity epidemic we currently have. And the other is the asthma ep or respiratory disease epidemic. Which used to be just asthma in the third one, if I remember right. Um, that's contributed to by cars. Um... And yeah, the larger the circle, the more usage it is. So like cars are there, buses right here. So there's bus usage, rail usage. Uh, what's that commuter traffic congestion? Um, so like the reds going to it reduce traffic congestion. The green going to it increases traffic congestion. So you can see the car usage there is really important for that. Um, and yeah, you know, traffic congestion reduces your GDP. If you see down there in the bottom right corner, uh, the environmental protests increase traffic congestion because, you know, protesters go out on the roadways, block the roads, say, you know, we got to do this now. And traffic congestion also increases your CO2 emissions, which are right over here. Um, yeah, the blue, I believe, is like the importance for this portfolio and the size of it and everything. What's that? Oil supply. Okay. So, yeah, we can go all over here and you can see, like, this is like legalized narcotics. Um, that's prostitution. Uh, this is gambling. Uh, there's you know community policing and all this stuff. So usually the first thing I do, because you know, I'm a hardcore lefty, is I go over here to oil subsidies, and I try to cancel the policy. Now to cancel it, it's going to cost us four political capital. It'll save us seven point zero eight billion dollars per year. Uh, it'll take one quarter to implement it. Uh, it's got 0% popularity with voters because nobody likes the oil subsidies because why the fuck are we paying these people money? But you can see it um, having oil subsidies pisses off people who are environmentalists. However, it increases our GDP, our oil supply, our CO2 emissions. We have more foreign investment because of that. It reduces the amount of people who become environmentalists as a voting block. And it increases the value of our energy industry. However, we are currently at $7.37 billion in deficit that's 7.08. I can cut the federal deficit down to like $300 million a year or a quarter. Thank you. We will do this. So completely scrap that policy. Boom. I cost four political capital. Now we got 10 left to burn for what we're going to do with uh, the rest of the stuff. Now, what I like to do is uh, there's these red dots here. These are our major issues that are causing problems. So like an uncompetitive economy reduces our GDP, uh, pisses off the capitalist voter class, which you can see the voter class is over here, uh, for how much they like us and dislike us. So the religious really don't like us. The retired people fucking love us. The poor people love us. The state employees love us. The socialists love us. Ethnic minorities love, well, they're, they're, they're tolerant of us, we'll say that. The commuters are okay with us. The liberals are okay with us. The motorists, farmers, parents, so on all the way down and you can see it goes all the way down to religious folks conservatives middle-income and environmentalists they really don't like us so yeah 
I always do that as like a first issue is get rid of that, um, the oil subsidies, because that, that'll free up our, our deficit so we can start paying down our debt. Um, you can see our income to expenditure per quarter right here. So we can either raise taxes or, you know, come up with new programs, all this other stuff. So after doing that, I look at these and like, I want to solve the air pollution problem because you can click on this and you see it. Um, things that are causing air pollution is the high GDP we have. Lots of car usage, lots of air travel, higher population, international trade, rare earth metal mining, we can do reforestation and environment to reduce that. And the negative effects coming out of this is more people become environmentalists because of all the pollution. It increases the amount of respiratory disease there is. It reduces our tourism, reduces our mental health, reduces our health in general, and it pisses off the environmentalists. So there's this bar here and you can see there's this red line that's the start trigger. So that's from when we have a, a pollution problem is when this green, uh, blue gets above that. When it gets down below the green, it will stop this. This situation will be gone and we won't have any of these effects here anymore. So it won't be increasing the environmentalist membership or respiratory disease and won't be harming tourism, mental health, health or environment. Huh. Okay. And that's, uh, that's sort of the red bubbles compared to the blue bubbles. Uncompetitive economy. You see it pisses off capitalists. It reduces the GDP to have an uncompetitive economy. Part of our problems is we've got a corporate tax, a minimum wage, a payroll tax, our wages are high, uh, and our productivity is considered low because our workers have too many damn rights here. Uh, yeah, for environmental protests, the environment is uh, the big cause of this, so that we improve the quality of the environment, this will reduce, uh, and the environmental's percentage also increases that. Um, and yeah, problems this causes is reduced GDP, higher traffic congestion, more environmentalists. Uh, we got obesity over here, and a high GDP increases that, car usage, so on. Food health standards, all this stuff kind of reduces it, like compulsory food labeling, compulsory school sports, a cycling campaign. Private health care somehow reduces it. I don't know, anyway, state health services, keep it neutral, whatever. Anyway, and it reduces our health by this much, and increases our health care demand by this much. And health care demand, um, if we go to like, so like this is the, the main screen. This is who's trying to kill you right now. So currently our security services are, are kind of poor, but nobody really is pissed off with us right now and wants to kill us. So, you know what? I'll take it. I will take it. Uh, okay, but then here, uh, this is weighted for like how much, how big of a important thing it is in here. You can change it around to be by popularity. The green ones are the most popular, red ones are the least popular. But we'll go weighted. Finances is which ones spend the most money or make the most money. So here, income tax is like, you know, that's over half of our income is just from income tax. As you can see, our income is 67. This is 37. Um, and for expenses, there's like old age security, the army. Uh, what's this? Schools? Yeah, state schools and public state health service. And uh, yeah, anyway. We'll move that back to weighted for now. Um, and yeah, we can we can mess around with that and see things different. I just like keeping it like this where it's weighted. It's uh, nice to be able to see where, where everything is in that regard. Anyway, and then this is uh, our bar graphs, voting intentions. So this is our approval. And currently seven, what? 7.5% 7 of people plan on voting for us. Our approval is roughly 50% disposable income so who has the the most yeah it relies on a spectrum of disposable income both before the effects of government policy and afterwards taxes decrease most voters disposable income but usually in return they get better access to public services hover over and click a dot for details so we'll go to this one so this is a random uh, poor person I guess so you know you can just look at kind of random people over here as to where they are so let's look at this rich person. So, uh, you know, it's Eduardo Cook, disposable income 49675 original income 49005 capitalist, so he's a capitalist, does not like rent controls, an environmentalist membership, so he likes the electric cars initiative, microgeneration grants. Anyway, you can go all the way down with this, and like each one of these dots is a different voter on the spectrum of voters. And then these are the different voter types that uh, that exist. Anyway, we can go to focus groups and figure out what people think of us. We can do changes. This will come up later. 
Then this is a voter compass as to where we are. Turn zero, we start down here. We're really liberal, fairly capitalist. You know, there's Ayn Rand, there's Milton Friedman, Margaret Thatcher, Donald Trump, Saddam Hussein, Joseph Stalin, Lenin, Jeremy Corbyn. Ah, okay. And we can see where we go uh, there. Anyway, this dollar thing, this is kind of important shit. So here you can look at where you're getting all your income from, recreational drugs tax, government borrowing, airline tax, inheritance, alcohol, you know, so on all the way up to income tax being the major one. Um, if it's, see which with which taxes are raised 98%. If you raise it up too high, people just quit paying it and become corrupt and shit like that, or businesses will move out of your country and so on. Um, anyway, government expenditures, so state pensions is the big one. Uh, state schools, military spending, state health service, debt interest, uh, child benefit, state energy company, disability, you know, so on. And here, uh, really don't like those rare earth metal mining things, but whatever. Science funding, all that shit. Anyway, then we can go charts. These are the big, uh, major ones. This is how well your GDP is doing, so we're at 1.21 trillion. The debt is 1.08 trillion. <laughs> trillion. That goes up too high. You can have a debt crisis, and uh, it's like Greece. It's just insane. You you, you get all this uh, political capital to spend, but no matter how high you raise or lower taxes or what you do, it's fucking really difficult to get out of. And then there's yeah, income expenditure, global economy. Now, the global economy is okay. When that booms, uh, it really helps you, but when it sinks down, you'll lose a bunch of exports and stuff, and you got to worry about your own, you know, just making sure your own economy is doing good. I guess all the stuff's right here. Um, if you get really good at paying back your debt, your interest rate goes down. So um, that becomes quite helpful so we're not losing $4 billion a quarter. I think that's how much it was. Yeah, $4.73 billion a quarter to debt interest. Anyway, so there's that. Now this is the fun stuff. This is the light bulbs where we get to choose what new policy we want to implement. And we can choose from the, the kind of pie chart of things here. So we can welfare, we can add food stamps or winter fuel subsidy, a welfare fraud department, uh, foreign policy, we can have foreign investment restrictions, uh, go into international fusion research, have a border navy, get some nuclear weapons going, uh, build a wall, build that wall, you know, uh, have a drone strike act so we can just drone strike people who are, uh, we don't really like, uh, we can implement uh, conscription here with national service. We can sell citizenships to people, which apparently is really popular. Um, anyway, we can have import tariffs, which people just love those fucking import tariffs. Um, anyway. So yeah, for economy, you can do you know clean energy subsidies, all this other stuff. Helicopter money, or you just send money to people. Business startup campaigning. Okay, all these ones are in red. They're over 10 capital, capital to do. So, like, as you remember, oil drilling subsidies we got rid of immediately. Well, now that's uh, 36 political capital to re-implement it. Uh, and we'd also get uh, a note that we're like a flip-flopper uh, because we just got rid of it. Um, green electronics initiative, all this all this stuff here. And, it, yeah, like, we you know, a Mars program or a space program. Those are really popular. Diversity quotas for companies. Seems to be really popular. Anyway, for taxes, you know, junk food tax, plastic bag tax. Diverted profits tax. People want that plastics tax. What about packaging tax? Oh, they want both. Okay, this is probably due to the environmentalists. They really like that kind of shit. We don't have a flat income tax. This replaces your income tax. Uh, so it won't be a progressive income tax, but a you know, flat one, so it'd be like 15%, 20% of everything goes to the government. Um, which, you know, reduces bureaucracy. However... You know, telling some billionaire they got 20% tax to pay compared to some person who makes like 20 grand a year. It's just not fair. Anyway, and there's all these different kinds of taxes we can have here. Internet tax, which I think is like a VAT tax for those Europeans out there. Uh, luxury goods tax, capital gains tax. What is this? Oh. All right, well. Anyway, then we can do public services, like a stamp out racism week. Free eye tests, public libraries, if you like. Campaign to inform people about how much CO2 they make. Uh, we can also do compulsory language lessons on foreign languages. We can implement school par prayers. We can ban foreign church services in the country. We can ban alcohol. Um, 
this one's one of the big ones, the Climate Change Adaptation Fund. You end up needing that later on if you have too much pollution because it keeps fucking up the farmers and their ability to make food. And it costs a shitload of fucking money, but you do end up needing it. Uh, Law and Order, Unexplained Wealth Orders. This way, if somebody's got too much money, we can say, hey, where'd you get that money and seize it from them if they uh, can't explain where they got their money from. Anyway, yeah, we tear gas, curfews, uh, racial profiling, ID cards, detention without trial. Everybody loves that. Anti-corruption agency, rubber bullets, mandatory microchipping people. That that sounds like a great idea. Um, conservatives fucking love it. Patriots love it. But anyway, we can ban divorce. We can put the death penalty back in. We can bring in gated communities. Um, all these have their varying effects, like the you know needle exchange program increases health. Liberals like it. Conservatives hate it. Um, yeah. Anyway, then we can do transport, you know, carpooling campaign, which will get less cars, you know, make it so less cars are on the road. Fuel efficiency standards, which, uh, yeah, increases the amount of cars used because they've got, you know, get better miles to the gallon and all that stuff. Uh, telecommuting initiative, which is, of course, Zoom. Um, it's always been a big thing. Uh, personally, I'm a big fan of the free bus passes. Uh, retired people love it also. But it increases the generation wealth gap for some reason. Makes no sense to me, but that's that. High-speed rail subsidies. I like going with that. Uh, we can go with a state rail company or a state airline. And it costs, you know, like this much up front where it'll be like $8.27 for just this quarter. And then we can potentially make money off of it. But yeah, it, there's certain problems that come with it, like corruption. Somehow it decreases rail usage, which doesn't make any sense. Destroys the rail industry. Uh, it'll decrease unemployment and poverty. Capitalists don't like it. It'll increase the number of computers, state employees, increase computer income, socialism, you know, so on. So, that is pretty much the game. Then we can do, like, you know, specific looking for shit. We don't need to do that. These are achievements I've gotten from previous games i played. And, hey, maybe we'll get some of those tonight. This is our uh, cabinet ministers we can look at. We can fire them if we need to. We don't need to right now. And, yeah, optional shit. And uh, this is uh, the main screen that comes up right at the beginning of each quarter. So we just got rid of the... Uh, yeah, we just got rid of the oil subsidies. And now what to do next? Personally, what I like to do is I like to jack up the number of trees we're planting a year to 100 million. Because it, you know, proves this shit here. Uh, where we reduce pollution and respiratory disease, improve the environment. Environmentalists love it. And it also reduces unemployment. So... I'm going to apply the changes there. You can see your raise is 248. Like this would be two cost, this would be four cost, and this is eight cost here. And then lower it would be three here, six here, 12 here. You don't have to go all the way up, but you, you can. And in this case, we are doing it, so we're going to apply those changes. We're going to spend a political capital. Now we got two left. We can't really do too much with this, but we've got a tourism campaign. This improves our foreign relations and tourism. This is like ads like, come visit Canada. We're awesome. So we'll, we'll put that there all the way up. And um, yeah, we got one political capital left. This does carry over, but like not 100% carry over. So uh, with one, it'll probably just keep up. But like if there was like 10, we'd carry over about eight to the next uh, next quarter. Or maybe seven or something like that. It's been a while since I've played this. Um, is this compulsory foreign language classes? Well, I'm raise or lower that as much as we want. No, I'll just that is is alcohol awareness what about tobacco awareness okay yeah tobacco usage we'll take that down that'll improve i mean it costs 20 million dollars reduces tobacco usage by that much that really helps with the respiratory stuff and uh health so okay now i'm going to click this arrow this will have us go to the next quarter and click to return to government so um this is our uh you know quarterly report here it shows our gdp went up this is despite getting rid of those oil subsidies. Health went down. I don't know how. Education went down. I don't know. I didn't touch that. Crime stayed the same. Poverty stayed the same. Unemployment stayed the same. Now we've got a question about whaling. Now we can bring in whaling and be like the Japanese. Because it's a prized local delicacy. So we can resume whaling. Or we can keep the ban in place. Now we get different things based on each of these. This will probably increase the GDP of the country. This will 
uh, make the environmentalists happy, and it will also make us look more compassionate, which could, really helps come election time. So I'm going to keep the ban in place. So capitalists don't like it. Environmentalists love it. Liberals love it. Conservatives don't like it. Farmers don't like it for some reason. But yeah, hey, look, everybody thinks we're so compassionate. We love the whales. Anyway, so, and this guy warns us that, hey, we got a situation imminent, which is technological backwater. Um, and if we get that, it, uh, um, it'll, like, reduce our GDP and stuff like that. So, yeah, we got a small budget deficit of $678.53 million. Um, we did implement those two new, uh, where we increased the amount of trees we were planting and stuff. So that's why it went up from the, what would have been $300 million. We're currently pulling at 12%, so, yeah. Our party, the Progressive Fascist, is getting more support. Yay. And yeah, this is our cabinet report. Sooner or later, our cabinet ministers are going to be like, you really pissed off us, or us, so they can just resign on you. But then they'll also start getting less and less political capital. Anyway. Boris Johnson. I'm supporting David Cameron purely out of cynical self-interest. Well, you're not prime minister anymore, asshole. So, there's that. Not that I'm a defender of David Cameron or anything, but, you know. Fuck Boris Johnson. I'm going to drink some water. So, question here is, what should we do next? Well, personally, I try to solve that obesity crisis as fast as possible. I just like being a big patron of the arts, so I'm going to up that to, uh, you know, another 40 million. Liberals like it, you know, increase their foreign relations, tourism, bit in the education, bit in liberalism, reduce unemployment slightly. So I'm going to spend three political capital and apply, or two political capital and do that. Um, this is science funding, isn't it? Okay. I kind of want to up this a lot because it really does reduce the, uh, oh, it's two billion. That's a bunch more. It reduces the likelihood of becoming a technological backwater. And there for four political capital, we can go up to there. I'll increase our GDP a bit. Our energy efficiency up in technology. That'll keep us from becoming a technological backwater, so we'll do that for now. Um, hmm. So we've got 12 left. Hmm, that's free school meals. This is abortion on demand. Now, okay, the thing about abortion is, okay, it moves different, where you can go from two doctors' approval on demand or limited circumstances if the life of the mother's threatened, or a total ban. And you can see the differences that makes with with all the people. Now, the thing is, when you go up here, it really pisses off the religious people, and eventually you'll have religious zealots come and try to kill you if you piss them off too much. So you really got to watch for that. Um, so, yeah, actually, we're not going to change that right now, but just showing that as an example. There's a few other ones like that, like the narcotics also does the same thing. Where you, you have either legal weed, legal acid and mushrooms and weed. Um, it's legal cannabis. And uh, we can go all the way up to legalize all drugs. I like going to legalize all drugs. But then you get a big crime problem that happens. Anyway. So. What to do next? Well. It's contributing to obesity. You know what? I'm going to bring in a food, junk food tax. Because that'll really help with that. Um, it'll also make us a bit of money. As much as people don't like it. You know, it'll cost us $3.2 million and make us four point, or $404 million. Um, increases plant-based diets. Now, you see it increases poverty also. But also increases health, youth, so... And we're going to just do that. Um, what about recycling here? We max that out. You know what? People like that. I want to have a... Oh, whoops. Wrong button. Yes. We'll use four for that. Let's see if we can actually implement anything. Ooh, telecommuting initiative. Spend another half a billion dollars on that. I'll reduce uh, car usage, increase productivity. So, okay, we'll just do that. Okay. So our unemployment went down. Everything else stayed the same. So, foreign country with historical ties to us. We have a lot of profitable trade. Well, the government is authoritarian. 
They're tr tell me you're saying China without actually saying China. So do we support the protesters? I mean, I guess it could be like Russia or, you know, Saudi Arabia. Maybe, maybe some South American country. I don't know. Anyway, um, see, this will piss off conservatives and all this stuff. And it might reduce our economy, might reduce foreign relations, but the liberals will love it. And I think we're going to go for the liberals as our voting bloc. It's progressive fascists. So, yeah. Oh, that screwed up our international trade. But, oh, well. Okay, well, the Environmental Alliance are criticizing government policies and online forums. Okay. Reckless spending is not a vision. It's a burn, burden on current and form, uh, future generations. Scott Morrison. Okay. Awesome. They always have these little quotes. They're generally pretty funny. Um... Okay. Oof. I mean, how did that go up? We, we got rid of the oil subsidies. Okay, well, let's bring in a... To say this, but let's bring in a new tax. We could do health food subsidies. That would further reduce obesity. You know, it's only three political capital. Let's do that. Well... You can crank this all up until you eliminate the obesity crisis. And then after that, uh, you can, you know, reduce them a bunch. So when these two come in, they'll they'll do this. But as you can see, it takes nine quarters for this to be fully in effect. Just like with the junk food tax, it takes ten quarters for that to be fully in effect. So it's going to be about two years out before these fully reduce this as much as possible. So you got to kind of plan ahead like that, you know. Um... Hmm. Let's see what there is. They want us to sell some citizenships. It's uh, kind of bizarre. The socialists don't like it. Increase, you know, immigration. We'll get more capitalist memberships. Increase our GDP. But, I don't know, food stamps, uh, that really does help with poverty. Um, I would implement a general immunization ban, but later on we'll have a chance to do this thing where it's like increase your... Uh, uh, um, egalitarian society and that, that helps with that okay so there's this green thing up here this is the Northwest Passage uh, now it's not actually unfrozen yet um, but with climate change that goes up and that becomes bigger and then eventually boats can go through the Northwest Passage of Canada which if they went through the Northwest Passage uh, China boats going from China to Europe and Europe to China would take uh Oh, I want to say five or six days less per trip. And uh, they wouldn't have to pay like tariffs and stuff that they or pay fees that they'd have to pay at the Panama Canal. And you can have bigger ships. So anyway, that's like a, a green extra thing. You get these later on if you like make an egalitarian society where there's like no racism and stuff like that. Uh, it'll just increase everybody's health and well-being by doing that. Um, hopefully we'll get there. I hope to be like, I'm the prime minister who eliminated racism. Me and my progressive fascist party. But we'll see. Um, hmm. Well, what else do we want here? Um, we could improve the economy. Actually, transport. Let's go with transport. I did say I like them, uh, them free bus passes. What a high speed rail subsidies. Mm. Now we'll go with the free bus passes. So that'll increase that. Now I don't get why that helps the generational wealth gap. I mean, it's old people and young people that take the bus, not, you know, 30 to 50 year olds, right? So. Oh well. So there we got that. And, uh. Carpooling campaign. I think we're gonna go with the, uh bike subsidies that reduces obesity also increases health reduces usage of all those things so yeah we'll do that okay and that's that quarter done ooh trade dispute is broken out which side are we going to be on China or America oh no we're just screwed wow so that fucked up our wow so like that's like how much food's gone up this summer kind of thing. This is how much uh Wow. That's that's a lot of international trade now. 
Anyway, um, so global economy's doing good. Oh yeah, you can go to headlines and stuff, and this guy's a car salesman that does not like the car emissions limits policy. And the cars that he sells are now virtually worthless, so we lost a vote. He's like, progressive fascists are not for me. Anyway, we could get rid of the policy if we want, so we can go view policy. I mean, it's even at a minimum. Like, I think we're going to get rid of that. Anyway, we're at 70% popularity. This guy's warning us about a media monopoly because I guess the CBC is just too good. Um, yeah, this happens uh, generally when you have the state broadcaster and stuff like that. And no competition. Anyway. So let's see what the next one is. See, we keep getting 18 political capital, so that's between all of them. If these guys get really good at their jobs, they start bringing in like three or four per turn. So we'd have 28 political capital to work with. Ooh, should I increase the carbon tax? I could do that, we could get out of the debt. I'd only have to up it like a bit more. Kind of pisses off everyone. Increases energy efficiency, reduces our GDP. Our GDP is kind of on fire right now. Hmm. Okay. No, oh, we'll do that. We'll have that carbon tax go up there, so now we got a bit more money to play with. Food prices just went up, so we probably shouldn't do anything about that right now. I like the free eye tests. Ooh, public libraries. Ah, uh, yeah, they warned us we had a potential water issue earlier, so I'm actually going to implement compulsory water meters. And I'll do that to the max also. So that way we aren't going to end up with any kind of water issues. Um, well, let's look up free school meals here. If we jack that up, that's another $600 million. Reduce obesity and stuff. and Reduces poverty. Gotta say, I feel like that's uh, money well spent there. Yeah, that's health food subsidies. Um, what's that? Bike subsidies. Cycling campaign. You know what? We'll up that. Spend another what? Ten million dollars? Yeah, or eight million dollars? Spend one political capital on that. Oh, should we make racism, Brad? Hmm. No, I, yeah, we'll do that. Stop the racists from being racist. You know, we're progressive fascists, so we do that. Um, Royal scandal. Hmm. Uh-oh, it's Prince Andrew. So a prominent member of the royal family has been accused of spending a suspicious amount of time with a convicted sex offender. Despite that individual's sordid history being well known, this being described at best poor judgment and at worst deeply suspicious, how do we react? Do we support the monarch? So this will like, patriots and conservatives will like us for supporting the monarchy, or are we going to break with tradition and criticize them? I, I gotta say, I, I want them liberal votes for criticizing the monarchy. Oh, and the Patriots and Conservatives hated that. But, um, Duterte, please don't order me around, or would you rather I declare martial law? Uh, he's no longer the Philippines president, so. Yeah, what to do now? I mean, I do kind of like the clean energy subsidies. We got about $3 billion to screw around with, which we could use to pay off debt, or we could uh hmm. so let's look at this again so our gdp is pretty high our health's going up oh man okay the liberal league is kind of a threat 2.5 million people in the liberal league don't like us or are they oh no they're going down so yeah, these are the non-violent groups, but they end up spilling over into these uh, violent groups. 
It's like the Invisible Hand is a group of radical capitalists that are upset that you've implemented communism in the country. Uh, the multicultural warriors are people that, you know, if you let racial tensions get too high, they get upset with you. Anyway. Yeah. Seniors Rights Society, Sustainability Trust. Okay, you know. Hmm. Oh yeah, we gotta change prisons around. We go state-of-the-art prisons that reduces uh, crime and everything. Costs a bit more money, but we'll do that. Um, I would swear there's one that uh, lets us change. Uh, hmm. Community policing is kind of interesting. Um, can't do anything about narcotics right now. It's trial by jury. What's this police force? Okay. So we could up this if we want to, but... Uh, um, it's gay marriage, alcohol law. Ooh. Why does alcohol consumption stay the same? Oh. Yeah, alcohol consumption stays the same whether it's 16 or 18. That's kind of weird. Okay, well... I mean, we could implement a bunch of pollution controls here. We'll greatly improve the environment. Our GDP is doing pretty good. So we'll actually do that right now. Um, what's this? Oh yeah, this is labor laws. This is a big pro-union or big pro-employer. We don't really have the political capital to be screwing around with that right now. Okay, well, technology colleges, well, I mean, it's really popular, it'll increase their technology and everything, so yeah, we'll spend uh, $800 million on that. Gay adoption, I I'm going to go ahead and support gay adoption. Um, yeah. This will just piss off the religious people, but... And liberals and parents like it, so that's awesome. Cyber warfare could be an issue soon, because our technology is going up in our GDP. Okay, so we're probably gonna have to spend a bunch more on the intelligence services. Just to prevent that. So our popularity's gone up a bit. We started at 10%, now we're at 19%. I think we're a year in. Budget surplus is 1.8 billion. I did not read what the quote was there. I would give myself an A plus, Donald Trump. Awesome. It's good to know. Rates himself very highly. Um, okay, where was our intelligence? I think this is intelligence services. Okay. Um, I feel like I should just crank that because I don't want to have to deal with a cyber warfare situation. So there you go, CSIS. Enjoy that cash. I'm going to do this just to gain a bit of popularity. It's a mandatory holiday for everyone. Let them enjoy Labor Day. Hmm. It's tempting. We don't really need help with the GDP. It's, uh, it's booming right now. Well, here, we'll implement this and uh, improve the environment. No, I want to do more stuff about obesity, but it's like... There really, uh, really ain't much more we can do right now. Involving that. See, the thing about this is if you bring in the clean energy subsidies, this will reduce the amount of money you get from the carbon tax. So even though it says potential cost this, It'll actually be a lot more once it's fully implemented. Because then we won't get as much money from the carbon tax, in which case we're going to have to raise other taxes to uh, make up for that. Hmm. Let's go with the CO2 campaign. 
max that one out also. Okay. Ooh. Environmental protesters breached airport security and glued themselves onto an airplane. The flight has been prevented from taking off. There's widespread disruption at the capital's airport. So this increased the number of environmentalists, but middle-income people do not like this kind of stunt. Oh, shit, we lost oh. a major donor. So this makes us look like a bad leader. Um, so let's see the details. So this is where we're at. Uh, the egalitarian Democrats are getting a lot more new voters. Stuff. Hmm. Okay. So this is a candy manufacturer that's upset about the junk food tax. So that's the the news story there. It's devastating to them. They don't like it. Media monopoly. I, I mean, we're close to the start trigger, but unless we uh, do some weird internet speed law or something, that that should stay the same. We're up to twenty one percent now, though. How's the global economy doing? Okay, so the economy is pretty good. Um. GDP has gone down a bit. Our debt stayed about the same. Oh, let's see what else there is. A small surplus there. Well, all right. Hmm. I don't want to up the tobacco tax. It's like, hey, we could up that to like there. Use most of our. I mean. Where is this like a good 800 billion dollars and it'll reduce tobacco usage so hey let's do that sorry to you smokers out there Ooh, we should have the post office So, payday loan company. Ooh. I'm gonna go ahead and criticize the loans. Piss off the capitalists. The poor people fucking love me for that. So, because that major donor abandoning, we lost a bunch of strong leader stuff. Um, I'm not sure how long that stays around. But it'll be like a year or so before that gets back to normal. 22%. Bit of a bigger surplus. For me personally, marriage is a man and a woman living together. Angela Merkel. And you're not running Germany anymore because of that shit. So, so okay, um, technological backwater thing. That's going down because our science funding is high. Uh, it's going to keep going down even more. Poverty went up. Health went up also. Okay, well. Um, yeah, if we go in here, we can go to perceptions and we can do a media stunt to change our perceptions. But this isn't really worth doing until you get to like an election year. Uh, you also got campaign speeches then and manifesto provinces, which can be things or promises, which is like make your society more egalitarian. That'll come up in a bit. Um, where's that secularity of education? I think it's the Jesus fish. Just somewhere in here. There he is. Okay, so what we can do here is we can make it more secular and then we have less religious people and more liberal people. So I think we're going to waste... Uh, actually, we can make that a manifesto promise also. And people don't like it. It's not a big deal to them. Increase military spending if we want, but... Nah. Um, sure, refugee policy be. More zones and disasters. No checks. Hey, Sweden. We can go down here and total ban. Hey, hungry. Um, hmm. Well, I'm kind of wondering what to do here policy wise now. Because we can, like, uh. Oh, man. I do love those high speed rail subsidies.
and really it helps in every way. A hyperloop. Maglev trains, bullet trains. Is that our bullet train stop? Oh, yeah, I'm going to do that. See, the thing is, this takes 16 months to, or 16 quarters to implement, so that's four years. So it'll be well into the next term. That happens. Um, reduce that. The drug tax here. Improved tenant rights. I gotta say, compassion's just there, right? You know, there's more poor people than wealthy people, and in a democracy, that uh, that voting block really matters. Strong families lead to strong nations. Drogan, 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 whatever. He's the guy from Turkey. Health's gone up. I can't believe we still haven't eliminated obesity here. Okay, yeah, so we're down fucking 50% from 93%. So once that gets below that stop trigger, our health will improve a lot and it'll eliminate a bunch of healthcare demand, which should save us some money statewise. Or uh, with the state healthcare plan. Oh, that. Okay, it's starting to go down a bit. There's pollution at. We got it down to the start trigger. Environmental protests, those are going higher. Uncompetitive economy. Hmm. Wonder, do we have a oh, child care provision? The thing is, that costs a shitload of money. And I just blew it all in some trains, right? So. Let's see. Oh, people want a packaging tax? I can give you a packaging tax. And that's how we're paying for those fucking trains. Plastics tax? Oh, I can give you a plastics tax. Right there. There we go. The people wanted it, the people got it. Oh man, we just lost a major donor. go sir oh. what the how the hell did we lose another one oh whatever Ooh. all right well surplus of free three billion Victor Orban liberal democratic states can't remain globally competitive Hmm. Uh, let's take a quick look at, uh, no, that's the wrong one. Um, there you go, charts, so. GDP keeps dropping. Hmm. Okay, you know what? I'm going to implement Trade Council. As long as the economy around the world's going up, we should uh, definitely be doing that. Uh, oh, we're almost at the stop trigger. So, almost at the stop trigger for that, too. That, that'll really help with like fucking everything if we can get both those things to stop. Um, hmm. 
mat leave. Uh, that reduces productivity. Okay, I'm not going to change that right now. I'm going to wait till a manifesto province when I can say I'm going to increase gender equality. And then I'll start upping this kind of stuff. Work safety law. Yeah. What's this? Yeah, that's free bus passes. No school buses. So where are we at for bus usage? Hmm. So that's already pretty high. Um, move the post office again. Ooh. Um, employment down, GDP is up. That'll increase poverty if I ban that. Which the farmers don't like it. Yay, we got us a new donor. An environmental socialist, okay. Damn. Okay, oh. Okay, so you see this guy here, he's turned yellow. This means he's going to be uh, giving less political capital. So he's a 0.8. Because he's conservatives love him and so do socialists. Which makes no real sense to me, but... Oh well. We'll just accept it. Maybe these people exist. Um... Twenty-four quarters, so eight years. Oh, fuck it. Yeah, we're doing the one-time cost to nationalize here. That's actually going to end up costing a lot more. Um, I'm going to have to bring in... Oh, man. Need that to be about there. Okay. Oh, there we go. So no more pollution. No more obesity epidemic. Uh, I'm not going to make any changes to that. Uh. So poverty's gone down, unemployment's gone down, GDP's gone up. And we'll see the effects of those two uh, crises is ending come next turn. I'm going to look at this quickly because I'm going to be zero capital to fire him. I mean, really, he's doing a shit job right now, anyway. Oh, yeah, there we go. Kind of pissed off some other people, but... Okay. So, we got that done. Um, hmm. What to do next? Got the Earth Subsidies Science Funding. I do like the public tax returns. They do reduce corruption a lot. And personally, I think it's a great idea that you can just look at anybody's tax returns at any time for 50 bucks. They do it in Norway. So it's like a real policy there where you can just look at it, what somebody claims they've earned 
in the last year. The idea is this stops people from uh, from lying on their taxes because their neighbors can report them. popular with people. We got a bit of a surplus. Oh man, that'd be tempting right now. The, the main thing we got to do is get unemployment down right now. So that's improve the economy. Hmm. Clean energy subsidies. I don't know. Farm subsidies, organic farm, ban coal. Consumer rights. Rural development grants. Now that, that does cost a bit, but. spend that much. Um, oh well, the fuel efficiency standards to the max. Oh, openly gay leader. Uh oh. Corporate exodus, what's. Corporation tax? Oh my god, am I gonna have to reduce the corporation tax? What's. I was doing this. Oh, the automation tax is the one that seems to have increased it. I don't think most of Congress understands how the how economics works. Alexandria Ocasio Cortez, awesome. I'm fucking glad she said it. They used to have like Al Gore and John Kerry quotes there also, and uh, Alex Jones and other people. We'll see who else they quote uh, in the upcoming bit. Okay, what we gotta do... Uh... Actually, let's see... Huh. Thing is, like, if I cut this down... Or hell, even cancel the policy... hard to decide what to do especially because if that technological backwater thing starts or the uh, uh, corporate exodus it's really hard to get shit like that to stop we pretty much have to get rid of that and raise income tax oh, a frequent flyer tax Capital gains tax. We'll bring that in right now. Public services. Just 
bring in a bunch of kind of popular stuff right now. Hope that corporate access thing doesn't start. Okay. There we go. So we got a new donor. Um. Hmm. One more freedom of information. We'll reject the proposal. Mitt Romney is the guy who said corporations are people. No, Governor Romney. Corporations are not people. Elizabeth Warren. Well, I'm glad she said it. Oh, damn. to be done with that. Okay. Increase them tobacco taxes. Ooh. Okay, so this is public right away. This is like, can you walk across somebody's farm? So if you take no action, the farmers like it, and if you expand rights away, the socialists like it, so. Yep, that's everybody's land. Okay, now we're up at 40% of the polls, that's, that's all right now. The reason we should do a carbon tax is because it's the right thing to do. It's economics 101, elementary stuff, Elon Musk. Oh, that's really nice, Elon. Glad you're for that. Um, you know what I'm going to do, though? We don't really need this anymore. But, uh... Yeah, people like the Food Standards Agency. up the stem cell research. Free school meals. What else can we do to get rid of poverty here? Let's do them free eye tests. I like them free eye tests. Now we'll call that a quarter. Cyberbullying campaign. You got it, dude. And somebody got killed by what, a bear or something? Oh, that sucks. Oh, shit, we're at the start trigger for that. I don't think there's a way around it. That's still gonna go up a tiny bit more. See if we can uh feel weird dropping the corporate taxes like that, but try to stop that corporate excess from happening. God damn. Okay. Oh, where's the sales tax? Uh, 
Oh, there's sales tax. Man. Fucking I hate to do it, but... I'm gonna fucking implement that carpooling campaign. Oh no, that's terrible. The last shit we needed. So we finally get the GDP to go up. $10 billion budget deficit. All right, well, we got some campaign speeches to make here. So who is this? Middle income people. So they're not particularly happy with us, but that doesn't reduce anybody's stuff. So yeah, what you gotta do is look at this and see what the balance is. So socialists, 36% membership, 74% happiness with us. Capitalists, 40% happiness, 64% membership. You gotta figure out who it is that you're gonna get to vote for you exactly. So I'm going to go for the liberals over conservatives here. Self-employed versus trade unionist. Well, you know, there's more trade unionists. And uh, rich people are all of 3% of the country, so I'm going to go with the poor is there. Give the speech. And wow, oh, oh, they love this speech. Remember the last time you were moved by a political speech? That's this right here. Oh, the poor's take us way up, and the middle income even a bit higher. Right, I'm not sure if we can make manifesto promises yet. Oh, no, we can't. But I'm going to do a media stunt to try to be seen as a strong leader. So, should I do judo with the special forces, be interviewed while jogging, windsurf, photo op? Filmed hunting with a rifle, playing a charity football match. Just soccer, but whatever. And yeah, there's odds that it'll work and the impact. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I jog. Yeah, there we go. Well, hmm. Is there any other taxes we can bring in that... We want to see how... What's that? That's done. Okay, so the corporate tax is going to make that drop. So, okay, that dropped considerably right there with that reduction in the corporate tax rate. Well, it's dropped only a little bit there. Oh, I feel like we got to get rid of that automation tax. That might be enough. Yeah, we got to implement some new tax at least. Oh my god, man. Like, this is just such bad news. Well, GDP's going up, at least. Okay, ethnic minorities. Let's see, you like us a bit more. Hmm. State employees compared to the self-employed. Yeah, let's get them state employees out here. It's the pores again. Liberals to conservatives. Uh, there we go. We're going to win this re-election, damn it. We're going to get us another majority. And, uh... Yeah. Yeah. 
This is going to be a hell of a crime minister. I've already eliminated obesity and the pollution problem within Canada. It's the respiratory disease that. Oh, okay. We're about to eliminate the respiratory disease also. That'll make parents really healthy or healthy, uh, happy and also increase our. Uh, Damn. Okay, I'll go with that. Ooh, I'll find out to reform the Secret Service. Patriots don't like us. Fuck them. Oh shit. Okay, well, because now you can make some manifesto provinces. So I'm going to pledge to raise secularity of education. Um, I'm going to raise that GDP up. I'm going to raise gender equality. We'll uh, reduce that firearm law there. But I'm not going to be able to cut income tax. Oh, I can only make four pledges? Well, geez, I guess I'm done then, pledging stuff. So let's uh, make the poorest happy. Oh, the hippies. They're already at 100% happiness. They fucking love me. Because I, I single-handedly got rid of pollution and obesity. Single-handedly. Trade unionist. Hmm. Okay, that'll be worth it. And, uh... Right, I'll just add the hippies in there. Get up there and just da 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 The retirement age. Can't cut pensions. Well, we're going to do a National Armed Forces Week. All right, here we go. Oh, everybody's loving the progressive fascists. There we go. Sweet. <laughs> Historic night for the progressive fascist party. Yay. Let's go break down. Socialists came out. Youth loved us. The poor loved us. The religious did not. Which is why I'm going to raise that secularity of education. Environmentalists. Damn, we got 55% of their vote. So we've reduced... Okay. What I don't get is I can cut CO2 emissions by two-thirds within four years. 
And these people just can't fucking do it. These current leaders. Lifespan went up by 60.4%. Or 0.04%. I cut tobacco usage in more than half. Plant-based diets went up by 45%. Crime went down by 20%. Like... Just saying, I'd be a fucking great prime minister. Like, look at this shit. All right. He actually had deflation. So we've gone from here to here. We've, we've taken Canada back to the center, I guess. Away from the capitalist side. Hmm. Mugabe's on here. Wow. Cheers, we can get rid of some of these guys without major hits to stuff. I mean, he just got in there on the economy, so I'm going to shovel the cabinet, though, still. We're going to see who's got the best, uh... We'll hire you for that, and... He's not going to like me, though, after just a little bit. I'll throw some kind of hissy fit. Okay, she, the pores like her, so... Or she likes the pores, so... Oh, there we go. Respiratory disease, gone. Gone. I got rid of COVID also. Wow. Probably shouldn't have said that because it's YouTube, so you say that. They don't like it. I don't like you to talk about that at all. But I'm going to set tougher standards for factory farming. Okay, black market's developing due to the high sales tax. Hmm. Okay, I think what I'm going to do now is... Uh, We'll maximize sex work here. Increase our GDP. And increase our gender equality. And where's the drugs? I think I'm gonna legalize uh, cannabis and then maybe LSD. I think that's gonna be my next steps. Right, yeah, we we're gonna do that thing where we were gonna implement this. So everybody loves that gender equality that comes from that. What are my manifesto promises again? The secularity of education, GDP. There's the firearms law. So that'll cost 19 to do. Do that. Who doesn't want more guns, you know? We're gonna have to do public tax returns in just a second here. Oh, sweet, there we go. That's actually going to change a bit. Let's see. 
see what we can do for secularity of education here. Oh, the environmental protests are done? Awesome. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to ban some religious symbols in schools. I'm Quebec. Oh, the global economy is now in the shitter. Gender equality we got to raise. Got the secularity of education done. The GDP one's going to be kind of hard. But yeah. Deficit's still 5.85 billion? How's that possible? Species. Okay. How did it get downgraded again? It was just upgraded. Oh well. basic income if we want. tax here. Just off the wealthy, but huh. I can't do food stamps right now, it's just too fucking expensive. Do we have this yet? So I think we got bullet trains now. way down. God damn, the global economy is just in the shitter. That's no good. Hmm. Well, we don't really need oh. help. Now you know I'm going to cancel that policy. We're getting zero dollars from the tobacco tax. The same thing happened with the carbon tax? Hey, okay, we can cancel that. It's worth half a billion dollars. There's no point in having that.
Alright, um... No, I'm just going to skip that for now. Oh, sweet. Okay, so we got rid of the... You know what? Oh, no, no, I wanted to... Ah. Oh, bake the fucking cake, asshole. Ah. Oh. So that was a Joe Biden level gap where it's like, yeah, they, they bakers should get a, do whatever they want. Well, I meant to say, no, you should just bake the fucking cake. Come on. Yeah, okay, we're gonna legalize LSD here. Because, hey, that's the world we want to live on. How close are we to. So we got secular education done. We'll do that. Boom. Got that maternity leave going on now. I bet you know, yeah, this shit's doing nothing anymore. It's the choice. You stop all the pollution, you lose a bunch of tax dollars. Petrol tax doing nothing. Hmm. All right, well, let's just go on to the next thing. Um, yeah, piss off the liberals. Make sure the patriots love me. I like Indiana Jones. I do not like sta snakes, though that might lead some to ask why I'm in politics. Theresa May. And you aren't Prime Minister of Britain anymore either, so. Yeah. Well, what is next? People seem to want this internet tax, so I'll tax the internet. Two point six three billion credit rating upgraded. Awesome. Oh, a porn star has accused you of having an affair with them. <laughs> Paid them hush money to keep your integration of se indiscretion a secret. Wow. Yeah. Well, we got the budget surplus going on now. Where is the global economy at? Okay, so it's starting to recover. As it goes up more and more, we'll be doing better and better, so. Okay, now where was the gun laws? Okay, there we go. So, made that campaign promise true. Um, so, okay, oh, we got the gender equality. We're at 100% for that. Just gotta raise GDP now. So let's see what the economy's got to offer us. Oh, fuck yeah, I'll implement this. Uh, good old gender neutral restrooms. Okay, now, you see, this can happen after a while, it's bureaucracy. This can be a major problem. It's when you have too many different laws. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to start getting rid of a few of these ones that we don't really need. Okay. We were told by President Obama that in respect to international trade, we would have to get back uh, to the back of the queue, not a position that America has normally required the United Kingdom to be in when it comes to other matters, such as the Iraq War. Uh, good old Boris Johnson. I can't believe I still haven't managed to get rid of this uncompetitive economy shit. Ugh.
That automation right there? Hmm. Actually, let's go to technology here. Can I... Uh... Yeah, you know what? I think that'll help. Um... Now, the real question is, which laws are we going to start getting rid of? We're going to get rid of racial tension in this country now. I'm going to a fucking gay wedding. It's a well-known fact that reality is a liberal bias. Awesome. Okay, so crime's down. I mean, really all we can do is up education. that do ah oh, man just it costs so much I'm gonna implement some kind of child care here Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck. Man. Minor budget deficit, damn. All right, well. hate me for it but I'd be able to get rid of that sales tax and the corporate tax can't cancel corporate tax where's the sales tax okay there they're gonna be like why are you flip-flopping on this yeah, you can't market medical shit. Fuck you. All right. Yep. that tobacco campaign.
It's still there. Cancel the marriage tax allowance. Or married tax allowance. Uh, you know what? Let's see where we are with Manifesto Provinces. So it's just the GDP now. And that's going to just fucking skyrocket once I get rid of that bitch. Where's the state schools? Um, it's technology clubs, colleges, uh, state schools, state, most of sports, your parenting classes. Adult education subsidies. I will up that in just a bit. Where the fuck is state schools? I think it's this. Okay, which more can I have that? Oh man, holy shit. Okay, we're gonna go to up that next turn. Oh fuck yeah, egalitarian society. Pass that. Fucking sweet. This makes everybody happier and it reduces crime. Gotta love it. Tax evasion. Oh shit, that's gonna skyrocket because they income tax. Oh. Okay. What we're gonna actually have to do here is public tax returns. Okay. And where's the schools there? That to that. Boom. Okay, let's see what this does. Fucking... Why would you run out there? Oh, whatever. Oh, my God. I shouldn't have just upped that income tax like that. It, it, apparently, you can't just boost income tax by, like, 10% and not expect a bunch of other shit to happen. Okay. There. That should. I'll get a flip flop notice for that one, but whatever. Um, let's tax the superstores. That should make up for a bit of the shortfall. Okay, black market's gone. GM food proposal. Yeah, let's allow them GM crops. Brain drain. And now it's even two turns for that to drop down considerably. Okay, but that should get rid of the, getting rid of the black market should help the GDP and stuff like that. Oh man, okay. What the fuck? Just right about there. Okay. You just start getting rid of some of these, uh, other programs. Oh, uh, yeah, we need that disability benefit. Controls.
I'm going to reject that cluster bomb down. Poverty went down, GDP went down. Okay, we dropped that poverty considerably. What the hell happened? Oh, it's the brain drain. Okay. Oh, that's dropped considerably. Oh yeah, we'll be out of that in like two turns, three turns. I mean, what the fuck is doing this? Like, you know, I got rid of the corporate tax and somehow that goes up? All right, well, um, raise education, lower poverty, lower unemployment. That's about it. Oh, Hillary Clinton is one of the most vicious serial killers the planet's ever seen. Alex Jones. Yeah, that's, uh, that shit's important. It's like recycling computers and shit like that. Okay, we'll see what this does here. I love you, Francis. Wonderful. It should be. We subdivided it for 40 years. Nigel Farage. That guy is a fucking douchebag. Okay, well, what can improve this? Ooh, we got a deficit though, so we can't really have a space program. Oh, fuck it, we're getting a space program. This has got to be, yeah, that's at the stop trigger already. Awesome. What about this? Fucking. Vent drilling there. Rain drain's gone. Campaign speech is available. Oh, let's get the environmental sun on this. Uh, state employees. The pores. Love the pores. Do that. It's not going to raise us up too much, but it'll raise us up with important key demographics. We're just going to destroy these other parties come the next election. Bike ad campaign. I can cancel that also. Hmm. Oh, Bert. Um. Should. I'm trying to think of how we could up our productivity even more. Finally, get rid of this. But. Well, actually, let's see where we're at. Ah, oh, damn. What the hell? How do we have pollution again? That just fucking fell right off a cliff. What the hell happened? 
Was it really just canceling those bike things? Wow. This is a flu, and like the flu, and this is a much different situation than Ebola. Awesome. You know what? I'm gonna up that all the way. Reduce our healthcare demand. Yeah, we got legalized LSD now, so that should actually, yeah, increase the value of that. Um, Eight billion dollar surplus. What the hell is going on here? Yeah, well, we'll go that all the way up. Okay, we just banned gas-powered cars. Oh. That's actually a Justin Trudeau thing. See, so he praised China. They were like, how dare you praise China? It's good stuff. Um, the pores, yeah. Wait, they're only 27% of the population now? Wow. Okay, there we go. This will help. We still have that eight billion dollar surplus, so uh you know what, we got full paternity leave. Um let's go to the child care provision. I'm gonna jack that up all the fucking way. We'll reduce our unemployment, increase gender equality, increase our productivity. So we'll see where this is at after that. The wages keep going up. We really need a minimum wage. that drug treatment scheme that's for damn sure yeah i was gonna up the adult education subsidies okay well that'll be next time oh you're just getting clobbered the egalitarian democrats the new technocrats you can't compete with the progressive fascists we don't even need a punch or any kind of dictatorship to fucking clobber you guys what they're they're all pretty confident they're all doing good yeah I need to increase the GDP oh shit how do, what happened to the environment to make it like shit itself like that is it just the increase in the GDP well, we made that manifesto province promise, that's for sure. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna legalize heroin, everyone.
Okay, well, let's see what the pollution's like here. Oh yeah, you know what, we'll just do that. That should, should improve the environment quite a bit. Man, we're getting right back to where we were. I'll ban the single-use plastics. Oh no, we lost the $40 million we got from that. Environmental protests. Okay, well... Jack that up a bit more. There's tobacco usage. Yeah, you don't use tobacco, use heroin. Okay. We got that drug treatment scheme there. Hmm. Slowly going down. Oh shit. Well, that's no good. Hmm. I'm not going to read some Macron quote. Fuck that guy. But he's right. Um. Okay, so... Oh, we need this. Yeah. Okay, now we need to go over this and we're gonna have to start getting rid of some of this shit that we don't need. Actually, ooh, smart meters, yeah. Have selective schooling? There we go. What was that promise that I could make on selective schooling? Ninety-six percent small budget deficit. Right, um, oh, yeah, we're going to do adult education subsidies, which are right here, I believe. I'm going to max that up. Increase the productivity a bit. Man, I don't think I'm ever going to be able to get rid of this uncompetitive economy thing. I think it's just there. Receive foreign aid? What the fuck? All right, well.
Is there any chance this... Uh, it's going down, but... It's still going to take a while. Everybody loves a needle exchange program. Yeah, we'll ban those bulbs. Bureaucracy. Uh, okay, so GDP is great. Debt's a bit high. So the real question is, how do we get rid of that now? Jack up the schools like crazy. Well, that's not good. Frankly, I'm not sure what else we could do to reduce employment. I guess we could, uh, Is there any tax I could bring in that would, uh, I'll probably cause a brain drain. Actually, can I reduce state pensions by... Poverty will go up a bit, but I think overall that's worth it. Um, you know, let's do some, uh, some stunts. Oh. Yeah, I ate breakfast with some people. Oh, and they're like, holy shit. I don't even know what I did. Judo. I went like, judo chop! And now I've got like a perception as a strong leader and all this stuff. I mean, and like, let's face it, I, this is pretty good. If any prime minister did the shit I've done so far... I mean, we got fucking Hyperloop trains here now. You know, they're coming in. We got fucking heroin. You can go buy heroin. I mean, who wouldn't want to go buy heroin? It's really quite addictive. Um, yeah, let's ban that animal testing. Technological advantage. Awesome. Oh, Vladimir Putin believes the presidential term should be limited. Okay, well, we're going to make a manifesto promise. We're going to end this stuff now. Talk squeeze them. I don't think we're gonna have bureaucracy. Ninety-nine percent of the people would vote for us, and that's in a non-rigged election. Okay. Does this mean I can do four terms total? drop it down to three drop it like it's hot that way we can say we're gonna end this game pretty soon you know we got one more election to go could get a hundred percent of the vote there 
And they had some stupid Trump quote on the bottom, I didn't see. So I thought they did. Should leave. Still ninety nine percent. Okay, so we got rid of pollution. Still have those respiratory disease. Car usage, which has gone up. Um, we subsidize buses more. Motorists down. Climb it down. Sounds good to me. And that's fucking tops. What if we had a state airline? Fuck it, yeah, we'll implement that. This is so cheap. It's the frequent flyer tax and stuff. Okay. I mean, how do we up education anymore? social media oh yeah I think there we go okay I'm gonna implement it but I'm gonna drop down really low Okay. Ah, well. Yeah, I know. Global economies dropped considerably, right? That's income mainly. Oh, this is one I could jack up. Car uses are also. Oh, we're gonna stop construction on them power lines. Nobody likes the power lines. Oh, we're making zero dollars off the tobacco tax because it's too fucking expensive for people to buy smokes anymore. Oh, that is a. Uh... Oh, what? We can make money off the carbon tax again? Ooh. Now we're going to bring in a capital gains tax. Capitalize on those gains. Those sick gains. Bring in another.
attacks. Okay. Are you fucking kidding me? Another school shooting? Oh, I'm tempted to just ban guns again. I was the future once, David Cameron. Wow. That's, uh, pretty impressive. Okay, well... Manifesto promises I've done. Okay. You know what? We're gonna. Ooh, I could move it up to all drugs. Oh my god, we've almost got rid of the fucking uncompetitive economy. We could do that before the end of the game. Allow the merger. Increase the GDP. We, we, we could be there. No, no, it's bottomed out. Oh. God damn, I just want to get rid of that uncompetitive economy thing. It's the one thing we couldn't get rid of. Hmm. Hmm. No, that's not worth it. sales tax back up a bit and that way I don't have to worry about the deficit. Bring up the free good flyer tax. Okay, now how do we improve our productivity one last time? something that's going to increase productivity. Oh fuck, we're going to ban coal. Why not? I'm going to condemn this dictator. I don't even know why. What do you do? But, I'm going to condemn him. Shit, we are close to having bureaucracy here. I first like to see the Human Rights Act go because I think I have we have had some problems with it. That's pretty awesome. Gentle. I was looking for that earlier. Well, we'll do that. Jack up the police force. There's legalized gambling. There it is. on booze 
How the fuck did GDP go down? Oh, it's that. Yeah, that would do it. Okay, ethnic minorities. Love the ethnic minorities. Zero percent of people are wealthy? We're down to zero percent wealthy people. Just shows we don't need them in our society. Let's get rid of them now. I guess we ha this is the end of our third term coming up. I'll do that. Ban the fracking. You know, we got unemployment down pretty far. I still can't believe we couldn't get rid of that uncompetitive economy shit. Oh, uh, let's uh, talk to the people. Oh, the ethnic minorities. The poors. The libs. Socialists. There we go. Fucking, we own the lips this election. We own them. Okay, we still haven't gotten rid of this. Oh my god, we might get rid of it. We're like right there at the stop trigger. The start trigger is what, 40% and we're at 41%? Ooh. Okay, is there anything we can do? Increase hmm. Hmm. No, we're gonna implement consumer rights. That doesn't really help our GDP numbers or anything. You gotta keep them rural banks open. Holy shit. Let me guess the whole fucking world economy is just fucking imploding right now. Ah, uh, it's dropped considerably. I guess we did get a lot of money from tourism. So there's that. Oh my god, we're below the trigger! We will actually stop that in our time. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead. We were just fucking murdering them. Retire in glory. I think I will. Best prime minister ever. Oh, we didn't get rid of the... Oh. Man. We were this close to getting rid of that fucking corporate fucking... Or uncompetitive economy shit. You know it would have been next turn. Okay, I'm just gonna... We're retiring glory, but I want to just see this one be gone. Uh, 
Um, you know, we'll keep the same cabinet. There we go. It's gone. Oh. Welcome. There we go. Okay. I just wanted to see that gone. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to end the stream here. And uh, yeah, that's Democracy 4. That's us playing as Canada. That's me as a better prime minister than, than pretty much anybody ever. And winning 90% of the vote after the fact. I want to say I increased the debt by about uh, $80 billion total. But with that, I managed to build a train across the country that is hyperloop speed of like 300 plus miles per hour. Like 600 kilometers or whatever for you, huh? people like me that that live under that um we got a child care program in we got our own space program we saved the environment we ended the obesity crisis we ended the respiratory illness crisis there's some environmental protests now but we, we stopped all the pollution um people you know come here because they love our animals and uh come to photograph our endangered species you know, we got a technological advantage that so we're more technologically advanced than the rest of the world now. Um, private space industries there also. That's pretty fucking awesome. Yeah, so. Just saying, vote for me. Anyway, that's going to be it. So, cheers. I will see you guys uh, some other time. Peace.